Jakundi Estate, Amuodo, has remained in the news since demolition exercise took place there in February. However, an illegal structure is being constructed at the shopping center, and this is generating tension as residents of Block 214 and 215 are threatened. The demolition carried out in Amu Ward of in, in February was meant to sanitize the Jack on the estate by pulling down illegal structures. However, residents of Block 214 and 215, just behind the shopping complex, are finding it difficult to understand why a man becomes a law unto himself, constructing an extension to the market amidst threats to the lives of the affected residents. An eyewitness shares his experience. One day we just woke up. We saw some people digging right in the front of our building, of our building, and block 214 and 215. Now, we went there to find out what was going on. Now, when we got there, the man who led them said that if we dare challenge those hooligans that were walking, that is going to pour us acid, our cars will be vandalized. Now, he said he has got money to do all those things. And he doesn't deal with people like us, even DPU. He cannot deal with DPUs, but the area commanders. Now, as law-abiding citizen of this country, we don't want to uh, have a quarrel with him or issue with him. He claims a lot of efforts have been carried out to reach out to the concerned authorities, though not much has come out of it. When we realize that uh, we don't want to comfort him, but we, have, we know we have government who can, who can comfort him. Therefore, we petitioned uh, letters to uh, petition a letter against him to the FBIC, who is the landlord of this estate, the commissioner of police, who is to save, who is to save life and property of the, whole, of the citizen, uh, and uh, the, the DSS, and the, uh, this uh, Nigerian uh, civil defense course, and uh, the area commander of FESTAC and uh, the chairman of tax force in Lagos State. But so far, we've not had any action from all those people whom we petitioned. The appeal to LBIC and the Lagos State government to intervene as their space is being encroached on. Our concern is for the government to please do something about the fence it's trying to extend to our block for us to have free movement and for our children to have free movement and then save us from this person in question so that we will have our life to live and our children because we can hardly leave them at home just because of these people around us. If the government can do something, we will be very happy. Then the house they are building in the shopping center, we are not really comfortable with it because they are, it's just like a threat. We sleep with, the, with, the, with these gangs every day, every night. At, at times when we are sleeping, they smoke, fight, so do so many things. We just want the government to please come to our aid and do something about it. The managing director, who was not available for an interview, however said in a telephone conversation that news on the construction of the illegal structure had reached them and that they've subsequently directed the developer to stop the project. While we examine issues of concerns on eyewitness, don't forget you can always celebrate positives such as innovations, software project, and more on the program. Begin by downloading the Channels TV app to your mobile device, then launch and swipe to reveal the eyewitness icon. Follow instruction on how to get your photo or videos uploaded. Now let's see some of those you already sent for the week. <music> Photo of an electricity bill from Enugu Electricity Distribution Company is causing this client some aches. He can't understand why a two-bedroom flat would be charged 15,000 naira without supplying power. You say this has become a pain in the neck. 
Next is a photo of how bad Uzwa Koli to Uzu Itam Road in Bende local government area of Abia State has become. Our eyewitness says this has made the area a safe haven for Fulani herdsmen, posing danger to the communities around. We also have a photo of a 40-foot container conveying charcoal and allegedly with two people who may have died of suffocation. Our eyewitness, Cletus Timothy, is calling on the traffic regulators to always check these vehicles to avert further incidents such as this. Henry Kasumu is calling on the attention of the Taraba state government and the federal government to come to the raid of residents of Lao Street after they suffered flooding due to a damaged culvert. You see, it was just the first rain of the year. Abdul Malik draws attention to Mahuta Primary School, Kaduna. You see, besides the dilapidated structure, there are no chairs in the classrooms. Those were your photos and videos. Do keep them coming. Always endeavor to add a form of contact, such as phone numbers or email, so we can follow up on your stories. Till next week, when we should hopefully be back with another edition of the program. I'll keep my eyes on you. I'm Chris Alems. Bye-bye.